Hey everyone, how's it going? I've got a short video here today of an unboxing from my latest camera, the Sony a7R Mark II. Now this is something that I normally do on my Periscope channel, so you should go follow me on Twitter and then you'll see me on Periscope and you can see other unboxings, but because this is something that's quite special, I thought I'd make it into a YouTube video. Now I've been dying to upgrade my camera for quite a while now, and to be honest, I felt like the Canon lineup just contradicts itself in all of its features. Uh, if I want to do amazing photo work, then I was looking to get something like the 5D, but the 5D's been out for quite a while. So then the 5DS was announced and I thought, hey, this is a great camera. But video-wise, not much has been improved. On the contrary, if I want to get a camera for sports use, then I'm going to want a high frame rate. The 5DS is not going to match that. I need something like a 1DX. A 1DX is great, it does 14 frames a second. However, for video, there's no headphone port. That's useless to me. I know, I'll get a 7D Mark II. It does 10 frames a second, it's got a headphone port, does 1080p, 60 frames a second, perfect. It's weather sealed, sounds like a great camera. What if I wanna do 4K? Well, maybe not, not too great there. I know what I need, I need the 1DC. Now, that can do 4K, it can do 14 frames a second, it's a full frame sensor, it's amazing all round, but it costs around six, 000, seven thousand pounds. I don't have that to spend. Oh, what can you do? Well, turns out Sony have created a camera and they've literally thrown every single feature that I need into one body. And this is it. So I'm gonna unbox it, give you my first impressions, and then if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content because I'm definitely gonna be using this camera a lot. All right, let's roll. Okay, so. Opening the box and we've got bits of paperwork here. Guarantee information, warranty, what comes in the box. How to set up your Wi-Fi connection. How to set up your Wi-Fi connection again, in case you forgot in the first one. Capture One, some image editing and organizing software. Again, now we've got some duplication here. Uh, register the document and then looks like a catalog of lenses. So there we go there. And whoa. Holy shit, that is a big manual. Um, okay, page one. Uh, yeah, so this is a big manual in 12 different languages. Someone's had fun typesetting that. It actually tells you, please read the instruction manual. Not yet. First things first, we've got the alpha strap. Uh, I'm probably not gonna use that because I have my black rapid strap. Let's set that down there. We've got, I think this is a cable protector, so that when you have it plugged into the side of your camera, you can run the cable through there and there's no accidental removal of something like an HDMI or USB cable. It's quite a handy one. We have the battery charger. I'd say that's a bit of an interesting shape, but it's a battery charger. A US cable. A UK cable, another UK cable, and another US cable. I'm starting to think we've got double of most things here. I'm hoping there are two cameras. Power brick. Like that. It's quite compact actually. Two batteries. No, seriously, I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be two cameras in here. A very small USB cable. And then the main attraction. Get rid of the box now. This is the Sony a7R Mark II. Wow. And there it is. Feels rather nice. It's kind of actually the size that I expected it. Um, neither bigger nor smaller. This is exactly the size that I, I wanted it to be. But the screen flips out that way and that way. Uh, small battery compartment just in here. SD card slot just there. Feels great. This this really does feel solid. And yeah, I, this is this is a great feeling camera. Feels really really good. I'm very impressed at first, first hands. So uh, yeah, let's run you through a little bit of the specs on this. 
So first of all, this has got a full frame sensor and this is actually my first full frame sensor camera. Um, believe it or not, that's that's just the way it is. I always believe that you get better images through the lenses that you buy rather than the camera that you use. So you don't necessarily need to go for the top end camera. As I was saying, you know, on my Twitter and everything that I've been quite confused about which camera to get. And this seems to offer everything that I want. So we've got a full frame sensor. It's got a 42 megapixel resolution for these images. For video, it can do up to 4K at 30 frames a second, or it can do 1080 at 60 frames a second or it can do 120 frames at 720p, uh, which I'm very much looking forward to using. And of course the video output of those can be up to 100 megabits per second, which is pretty damn good really. It's got a five axis image stabilizer in, that means that it will maintain stability if you've got shaking, panning, tilting, yawing, and rolling. And you would get you know, pretty damn good images um, on any of your lenses because it's built into the body. You also have optical stability on other lenses, so the two together, I'd be interested to know if they cancel each other out or whether it actually enhances it all together. It's got Wi-Fi and NFC built in, so if you're using an Android, you can just tap and you can, I guess, send images or connect your phone for remote usage. Uh, you can also download apps onto here, so if you wanna use time-lapse functionality, you can do that. The viewfinder on here is an XGA OLED uh, display and I've heard that the resolution on this is actually amazing. Uh, comparable to something like a retina display on an iPhone, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that, how that works. The screen here is also very high resolution and should prove very useful for reviewing images and recording videos. Uh, this camera's also got inputs for your microphone and outputs for audio with your headphones. Uh, I believe that's in here, open that. There we go. So we got audio out, audio in, and mini HDMI and a mini USB. I believe you can also charge the camera through USB, which is actually quite useful because the one thing that does suck with this camera is the battery life. But that's what you get for such a high resolution digital viewfinder. So, you know, that's one drawback. Uh, but yeah, this camera is amazing. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out on my blog I'll have a full write-up of what I think from here so yeah that's that now I also bought one of these this is a Metabones adapter for Canon EF to e-mount lenses see it comes in this little case like this this is the mark 4 version by the way and I was expecting it to not have body cap so I'm actually very pleased that it does have this because that's something I, I was gonna order separately. And we can open that up like that. Twist that off there. And you can see it's it's just a, a direct hole and you connect your Canon lens to here and then that end goes onto the Sony. Uh, so let's put that on now. Ooh. And then what happens is that has now extended the range so that I can put on a larger lens and it will work amazingly. It should take my autofocus and auto exposure and aperture controls right through to the body of the camera and I'll have full control just like I would on a native Canon camera. So this is gonna be an accessory that will probably permanently sit on this camera. So there you have it. That's my new camera. I'm gonna go take some photos with it now. All right, so that's pretty much the unboxing of the Sony a7R Mark II. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and make sure to go and follow me on Instagram. You'll see plenty of photos posted from this new camera and of course, some of my iPhone photos and other things. And check out my blog. I've got a lot of new content coming out soon, including some new photos from this camera, as well as some new product reviews and even some traveling that's coming up. So stay tuned for that and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Ciao.